station at a school in Heber have the community fired up. What's worse to some parents is the alleged suspect is still working for the school district. News 11's Milrose Bosco spoke to parents who say the school should take disciplinary action, and she has more. The superintendent of Heber School District and the principal of Dogwood Elementary says that they are going to let the Imperial County Sheriff's deputies handle the investigation, but until then, the employee will continue to work. The parent of the child at Dogwood Elementary has complained to the Sheriff's Department that the employee molested her daughter in the restroom. Monica Velarde has a son at the school. Once she heard the district's decision, she has spearheaded a campaign to have that employee removed from his job. I don't think that a person that has been accused of um, child molestation should be able to still work at a school district where there's children present. Superintendent Jaime Silva told News 11 the accused is no longer working around children. We're not asking them to fire him. We're asking them to put him on leave, let the law enforcement um, do their job, but get the, the person out of there so we can have the children safe. Valerde says she can't understand why the school district isn't taking this action. Let the, you know, the court process go through. If he's innocent, that's great. Um, but if he say that if he's proven guilty, why are we exposing our children to any you know, more danger? Valerde says she has heard this may not be the first time. What I heard was that um, this person has had a background of inappropriate behavior with children. Um, several mothers have said stories about um, him rubbing on little girls' um, shoulders and calling them, oh, you're my princess, petting their hair. Parents are scheduled to march after Thanksgiving in protest of the school district's decision. In El Centro, Melrose Bosco, News 11. El Centro Police need your help.